transformational objects. So this is a nice thing to do in geometry. And if we turn everything on, what I mean by that is the axes with scale. Uh, we can either choose the dot background or I prefer the grid background. It's a little bit easier for us to see what's going on here. So um, now, first off, we want to connect or draw a triangle with these vertices A, B and C. So I'll use the line segment tool to do that. And we'll start at 1, 1 for A um, and move over to 4, 1 for B. Tap onto B at 4, 1 and move up to C at 4, 3. And I'm doing it this order because I know the first place I tap on the screen class pad labels A and then B and then C and then so on. So last of all, we want to connect uh, home our triangle. Now we're going to need a mirror line on the screen. So while we're at it, I'm going to choose an infinite line segment here. And I'm going to tap once onto here and once over to here because um, I know that'll give me the line y is equal to negative x. You need to calculate a couple of points first for your reflection line to draw it in. Or you can simply um, use the equation to get it in there. Now we're all ready to go. Let's um, get the selection tool going here. And what we want to do is select the three sides of this triangle and then ask ClassPad to reflect it in this mirror line. So here we go. We tap onto Draw, Construct, Reflect. And uh, ClassPad, you can see a little hint at the bottom of the screen here. Select the axis. Uh, it doesn't say of reflection, but that's what it means. If I now tap once onto our infinite line segment and release, the triangle is simply reflected in the mirror line over to here. And that's basically how the transformation tools work here under Draw Construct. You can see we've got Reflect, Translate, Rotate, Dilate. So um, generally you start off with the shape that you require. Uh, set up either a mirror line, a point of reflection, a center of um, dilation and so on. And then follow the prompts that you get from ClassPad at the bottom of the screen.